What was the worst part of this whole roller coaster for you? Uh, yes. All of it? It was hell. I think we're going into a deep, dark place of Tanner's brain. I'm like, no, no, no. But like, yes. How many kids do the boys want? Oh, four. Um, That's changed since last week. So your answer was just in short, yes, I'm crazy. When do you feel like I, you knew I was the one? Um, I knew in high school with you. Yeah, then you yeah. forgot. You and forgot. I forgot <laughs> along the way. Are you guys offended? No. no. Okay, cool. And this is the story about how I made Sarah cry. Shut <laughs> up. Can someone else talk? <laughs> Hi. Hey. It's Sarah and Lo Beeston, your Fairly Odd Sisters. Woo! Woo! Welcome back to the Fairly Odd Sisters. Hey guys. We got my dogs with us. The dogs are here. We got our doggy dog brothers with us today. Also known as husbands. Husbands. Yeah, there were a dogs. lot of requests to have them on the pod. So um, how about a little quick intro? Please. Who intro are you? Me. What no, are no, no. you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Have you ever had a guest? You're supposed to intro me. Tanner, <laughs> you can intro yourself. I think we should have the brothers intro the brothers. Yeah. Okay, right. so Tanner, talk to Derek. Yeah. Intro Derek. Yeah, this is my brother Derek. Uh, Derek Jacob Beeston, born in 1995, uh, absolute badass. Wow. Yeah, look at the mullet. <laughs> they can't, some of them are just listening. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. Tanner's new to the pod. Yeah, I haven't done this before, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, this is my brother. We're two years apart. He's my best friend. Um, he's hey, great at everything he does, at, especially when it comes to just just putting his head down and getting work done. <laughs> that he won't stop. <laughs> if you look at Derek, he has two phones in hand. He's things I hate. One. Things I hate about Derek. He beats me in everything. Oh, That's gosh. it. That is not true. I think the only thing that I beat you at is doing dumb things and getting hurt. Yeah, true. Because, that, well, that's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong. Um, yeah, well, I think that is mostly because uh, ever since we were little, I feel like I've had this uh, tingling, need, this tingling in me, this need to constantly prove myself tingling. to him. And so anytime well, we had point to do proven. anything, yeah. you did it. <laughs> You broke both your knees and now you need another surgery. You did it. Um, anytime we do anything, I'm like, well, I'm just going to send this. Uh, if you didn't know, Tanner and I really like doing kind of extreme sports. Uh, we've kind of. So, We're a little bit of the extremists. A little bit of the extremists. <laughs> He's introing his own self now. Just takes over. Um, but with that being said, know, I feel like extreme. I've always felt this need to be like, oh, I got to send it. So Tanner thinks I'm sick. And that yeah. I don't know if that was just ingrained into me from a very young age just trying to prove myself but yeah. it kind of is this a little uh, of the younger brother syndrome maybe is this a thing is amongst it? i don't know is this a I thing amongst a thing. brothers maybe yeah oh yeah could be oh we yeah should, we can ask other younger brothers we so, should ask do you want to wrap things up about derek and then derek can talk about oh I was, i'm done about okay derek, yeah. derek do you that want to intro <laughs> intro tanner yeah, yeah. You know, this is barks um my brother <laughs> bark bark that's my nickname for him um <laughs> that's it <laughs> that's it no so this is Tanner Joseph Beeston he is two years older than me <laughs> two middle names um he uh yeah he has been I don't want to get sappy right now this is dumb no I'm make it light sappy. really yeah I'm light gonna get right sappy now. I'm gonna get sappy it's okay <laughs> we, oh. spend, we spend an hour <laughs> gosh he's only it. five minutes into the pod and he's already starting the sap um <laughs> if you didn't get it by now I really look up to this guy um and we have a lot of things in common and obviously we have a lot of the same interests, but I also just want to, I want to be like him. And that's kind of always how it's been since I was little. Uh, Tanner is little. a very, very uh, likable person. A lot of people say that Tanner has, uh, don't say it. I'm going to say it. Tanner's got cum power. Don't Whoa. say it. <laughs> Tanner's got cum power. Yeah, people want to be around Tanner, yep. and I think that I've always, I've always admired that, and um, I think that's what's kind of like made me always want to be cool and be cool in his eyes is because I think he's really cool, dude. Sorry, man. I don't mean to Thanks, be sappy, man. but I don't mean to be sad. Don't make um, Tanner cry. Tanner and I, yeah, we. I feel like over the last few years have grown have grown really close. Um, mm -hmm. Growing up, we weren't always that close. I think we were always just in different phases of life. They have a very um, sweet bond now. Yeah. We have a sweet very bond. Cute. It's cool. Um, and 
Yeah, I, I really like that because it kind of feels like you just have a best bud all uh-huh. the time. Um, but yeah, Tanner, talented at everything he does. And coolest Thank guy you. I know. Aww. Thank you, man. Love he you. can draw pretty Thank good. Love you. He can draw pretty good. He's a good little But drawer. I do say it back, say it really, back, say it back. really, really just want to beat him in an arm wrestle. That's all I care oh, about. Well, and yeah. never honestly, will. I never have. Um, he's always true, been dude. stronger I than do, me. I do have one thing on you. I've, yeah. I've never lost you in an arm wrestle. Well, the good thing about Derek's <laughs> surgery is he can't move his knees, but you can you work can out those still. arms. I will you dedicate time. your life to Dedic- bice- one bicep. <laughs> to beating Tanner forearm. in an arm wrestle. Yeah. Dedicate That's your life no, just after arm. surgery. One arm gets so slow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be sick. Yeah. I just, I just want to be stronger than that me. That would make me proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would earn my respect. In my respect. Respect. Yeah, anyway. Okay, so they're brothers. You guys aren't twins. Yeah, you guys were the first fake OG TikTokers. I don't know. That's that first people thing? to lie about First fake memes. OG TikTokers. <laughs> On Instagram, TikTok. I think what she's trying to say liars. is they were, we, we made some jokes about them being twins at the beginning meeting for the first time and... People took that to heart. There have been wars yeah. on the social media platforms trying to figure out if these guys are brothers or if they're identical twins. I don't think I look anything like you, dude. I'm going to put it. I actually agree with that. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to straight up. I really have never thought that I look like Tanner. And I think it, it's probably it's just stature. A, it's um stature. like oh, the way you act. It's the way you dress. It's mm, yeah. if they have, have the same hair, hair and blue eyes. And if you been, have the same length of hair, it, it, it gets confusing. Confused. Yeah. But it's gotcha. not the facial features. Mm-mm. Yeah. Cause yeah, if you look at us straight on, you can totally tell like, yeah. I don't know. They, they definitely look. Yeah. But it was to the point where people were thinking, you know, they were, you guys were living double lives because mm. there was the same person with different families. On people alerting us of cheating of yes. our, of our husbands. Yeah. It was wild actually. <laughs> so and I am still think, like mind blown today when I run into someone and they're like, so whatever happened with that twin? The twin um, that you met. Like that's crazy that you guys met. And I always feel bad. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. It was just a, it was a silly joke. Was we silly always have to joke. apologize. We have done that a lot. Where yeah. We're like, I'm sorry you thought that we for We were just at long. Disneyland and the guy was like, dude, I happened to your twin. Like that yeah. was crazy. That's when I started following you. I'm like, uh, yeah, he's my brother. Um, <laughs> and then you and feel bad because you're like the joke. joke. And now I feel stupid that Most I people lied. like laugh about it though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Most people will go along with it. Silly jokes. Sounds funny. Anyway, so we thought that since we just recorded our episode about our love stories yeah uh, and talked about our exes fun um, really fun yeah (laughs) people really wanted to hear their side a little bit of your side and not not to go into the nitty-gritty because we want this to be highlights we've already talked about the whole story that's how i tell stories yes boom 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 so from your perspective do we want to start with Derek or do we want to start with Tanner? I think, I think yours was a little more complex. Yeah. So we yeah, start you can it off with Derek. Start it off with Derek. Okay. It'll Derek. probably be pretty quick. From your perspective, <laughs> I guess what, just give us the highlights. Give us the highlight reel. Yeah. Um, no, that I wasn't really tell the whole story. Is it a highlight reel no, or is this like I, a, a traumatizing I, event? Traumatizing reel. I feel like this is <laughs> slightly traumatizing, slightly traumatizing for both the boys, <laughs> but ended in good results. Yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah, there was a lot. Uh, uh, I definitely blocked out a lot of that okay. part. That was tough. I was uh, head over heels for Sarah. Like I had, I was in a weird place in life and Sarah kind of brought me out of that. And so that was everything for me. And I was just like, this is the girl that I want to be with. And there is nothing that is going to take that away. But Sarah and I had a mutual Except friend, a friend. <laughs> who happened to be best friends with Sarah's ex-boyfriend. Another triangle. Um, love. These guys were football teammates. They were like high school dude, bros. I love sports. Sports, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how can you separate high school teammates? It's like quarterback and receiver. These guys are as tight as it gets. Really. Tight as it gets. And me and this friend also were really tight. But you got we were, tight. We were more tight when we were little. Um, kind of grew up together, and then he obviously transferred to a different high school. But um, And I just want to say that I didn't know... They were all friends at the beginning. I'm yeah. just going to throw that out there. It, it was It was weird. very shocking to me to learn. And so initially when I learned about this, I was kind of just, you know, like, whatever, that's okay. Um, we're going to just hang out. We're going to date, whatever. And he's on a mission. He's gone. He's serving for his church mission. And it's, it's okay, you know? Whatever you thought happens. he, and you thought at the time that he had 
another year and a half ish. Yeah. So out there. And, so you and, had time. Yeah. And this friend that I had was kind of just like, you know, um, he's my really close buddy. He is going to probably date Sarah when he comes home. And I think it's fun hanging out with you and Sarah right now, but just know that they're going to probably like keep dating. These guys were official. They are in love. And he really put <laughs> that in my head. Trying to scare you away. Yeah. And I was also in this position where I really wasn't interested in dating at all. I didn't think that I wanted to have a girlfriend. You guys have already talked about this. But again, I was realizing that I really liked Sarah. And I was feeling like a completely different person because of her. And so I didn't want to let that go. And so I started to put my foot down a little bit and be like, I oh, don't I really want to date her, though. And I don't want to let her a go. A fighter. I'm going to be a fighter. <laughs> I am going to stand up for what I want. Um, oh boy. Yeah. But then I learned he was coming home from his mission. What did you think when I told you that he was coming home? I have never pooped my heart out harder than that moment. <laughs> Dude, that's out first, the butt. Dude, that's the first, first time that's ever been spoken into existence. Dude. The, those words. Say it again. <laughs> no, don't you, say you it You knew again. it sounded wrong coming out of your mouth and then you just kept going with it. Boom, roasted. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I know what, what you mean, though. Like. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it felt like. Yeah. It was not <laughs> Derek did a lot of pacing that during that. Yeah. I paced a lot. It was a weird time. Um, I didn't really know how to accept that news other than I uh, just know that it was going to be super awkward. Um, did you ever think that I was going to choose him over you? Oh, yeah. Really? Why? Oh, yeah. But I, but. That's funny to hear you say because every single time we had a conversation, I said, I'm not even interested in pursuing things with him again. Yeah, I was at, I don't know, I... My words weren't comforting enough. <laughs> no, I, I honestly just thought like, hey, this dude knows you way yeah. better than I do. I can see that. And a deeper. And yeah, yeah, I think you're she having dated this, for two years, so that makes you're sense. You're having this fun fling right now, and I kind of just thought, as soon as he comes back, he's going to work some magic. Um, I know that you guys have a lot more history than we do, and I think mm. that that's all going to be rekindled as soon as you get past the the pat. As soon as you get past the part of him coming back, you know, you're going to settle all of that and be like, okay, you know, we know each other. Well, really you well. saw we that happen other. with Tanner and I. Yeah, and I think so I saw. Maybe. I literally saw. That <laughs> he was getting. Firsthand. He was yeah. getting scared from Lauren watching that. Had her that other whole boyfriend. Thing. It. They're literally Lauren marrying the other guy would have been like you. And me. Uh -huh. And so I think I saw that and was like, oh, this is going to happen with Sarah, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I also wasn't the most secure guy at the time. Um, I didn't think that I had the ability to win her over. And no matter what she told me, I kind of brushed it off, I guess. I didn't really fully believe it. So when she came back to you and said, you know, I just, I shut him down. Even in that moment, I was like. He kept, I think he in his head, yeah, he was, was thinking. was a big relief for sure, but I was just like. This is still, you know. He he kept thinking that my, what did we call him in the other podcast? Can't remember. John. 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 He kept thinking that John was going to keep trying and keep trying and mm. keep trying. Mm. No, and, and After and, that. Yeah. And I guess I just saw, you know, John, John's a good dude and I, and a good looking dude. And I thought, you know, he's going to come back and eventually win Sarah back no matter okay. What? Okay. Sounds like you kind of thought he was better looking and more charming than Sarah did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Agreed. Good. Yeah. I think, yeah, it's just, uh, I never... So did that play a role in continuing to date Sarah? Do you feel like you had that in the back of your mind as you continued to date? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Up to our marriage. No way. Yeah. Up to the wedding well, day. Excuse Maybe me? Maybe not up to the wedding day. Up to proposing? Up to like, when? What? Because this was only, you guys only dated for eight months before you got, or how long? No, and I think months? that that has a lot to do with it, is that our engagement wasn't long. And so I just thought like. You thought until the wedding not, day? I wouldn't say the wedding day, but I would say maybe a month before our wedding. Yeah. I get, this is a. I'm just shocked because I gave you every single reason to think that it was just completely gone no and from the minute at, i talked to him for the first time i was like <laughs> it's done and i wish i could go back in time and tell myself that because looking back on it now i'm like you are an idiot for thinking for a second that she didn't want you mm. and mm. i just couldn't realize it then and i think it comes because he did reach out of, a few other times and yeah. i didn't no and didn't entertain it she didn't and i guess mm. i 
never was very confident in relationships. I didn't have any steady mm-hmm. relationships in high school. I had some flings. Mm-hmm. Um, I was confident in every single thing I did except girls. Okay. That's the truth. Like, yeah, I, I can attest to that. Could Older not brother laughing. Figure Tanner. out how <laughs> to that. No, I wasn't good at girls. Either. <laughs> but I like, <laughs> I mean, any other thing I was doing, I felt like I could be the best at it, mm-hmm. but not, not, a relationship with a girl and so i think i just thought like oh sarah is used to this guy that is really comfortable around her and can you know really schmooze her and be really just confident in himself in the relationship and i don't think i ever had that but sarah would tell me that's why i like you you mm. know you're not trying super hard to like be someone you're not you're just being yourself yeah mm-hmm. i guess yeah okay so Amazing. There's the, Sorry, the, the, the do you t- have, did you see any other questions that people had of your story for Derek? No, I think it was mostly they wanted to, to just know. hear that side. They wanted to hear the side, and I think it was more they just wanted to hear you and Tan because <laughs> it okay. was so much more yeah. <laughs> extreme. <laughs> yeah, no, this doesn't even compare. And A lot that's of my what question makes me realize there. looking back on it, I'm like, dang, that was pretty silly to, <laughs> to get worked up about that. No, it's okay. I mean, it but was your, your relationship. It was shocking. It was shocking at the, the beginning for yeah. sure. Tanner. <laughs> Yo, hit me. I'm ready. <laughs> Spit it we out. We had a slightly more messy situation because um, this so girl couldn't relative. shut it down. This girl couldn't shut it down. <laughs> I think one of the most asked okay, questions was amazing. how did Tanner feel about that whole thing? They just yeah. wanted to know. So with me dating oh, two dude. people. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was hell. Yeah. Yeah. It was Absol- hell. Absolutely. Like mm-hmm. I remembered saying out loud this is the most miserable i've ever been i mm. remember that you wrote yeah. me on when i was you on a mission and he said i'm actually going through hell right now oh yeah. my gosh yeah. i just like I'm okay well can we <laughs> rewind <laughs> yeah hit me okay. with something specific Tanner, wait first of all when i first okay so i hit you, you hit a me. month before you come home and i say you sorry hit, dude you hit me i hit you up, you hit me up. i hit you, you sent up. me an email i sent you an email <laughs> my mission <laughs> you didn't hit me I up i hit you up on email. She slid into the and, the EMs. And I say <laughs> and I say, my dog. I've been dating another dog. So uh no, that's actually not I, how it went. I said, okay. Uh, I asked you. Yeah. Hey. Oh. I asked you if anything was going on. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I actually don't remember out. that. Oh, yeah. I, I, oh, thought I, thought, I, I thought you were kind of joking. No, yeah. Remember um there was like an eight eight month spell of Me not you saying not I saying you. I love you at the end of letters. And after about eight months, me going, I wonder if something's up. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if, I don't know, probably not. Yeah, probably not. Uh, she's just forgetting it. <laughs> but then uh, I was like, one of my companions or something brought it up. I, it was, that came up and I was mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, she kind of stopped saying that. He's like, oh dude, she's, she's probably talking to somebody else. And I was like, you, th- you think that? Oh, <laughs> I'll, I'll ask nah. her, but probably not. So the yeah. whole time you were thinking that she wasn't <clears throat> talking to another guy. No, I mean, I was those, skeptical. Those, yeah, you were I'm skeptical, like, but you didn't like think, oh, dang, she's. I knew something was wrong. Mm-hmm. Like either she had phased out of wanting to talk to me or there was another person. Mm-hmm. Pretty much only two mm-hmm. options. Yeah. So then I asked you. Yeah. Like, okay. Hey, anything What's Anything up? going on? Yeah, I've noticed you haven't said I love you at the end of your letters. I do remember yeah. that email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then I was <clears> like, <throat> okay, this might be a good time to share Great time. what's been going on. Because at this point, I had told the other guy that we needed to take a break because you were coming home and I wanted to see how things would go. So mm-hmm. I let you know. Mm-hmm. So when you found out that I had been dating somebody for the last year, what did you think? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> It hurt. It ouch. <laughs> Owie. Um I was I was pretty much like, dang dude, that sucks. She found somebody else. And uh I was kind of like in this limbo space. I was like, I remember I just like I didn't answer any of my other emails that day. I just saw yours because I would always click on yours first. Mm. Read it. I don't even know if I responded. And then I just left and all the other dudes just like stayed in and did all their emails Were you and just stuff. shocked? Yeah, I think I was like kind of shocked. Mm-hmm. And I, it I didn't was kind of like- in yet? You were just kind of like, Whoa. oh. Yeah, this thing that I just like kind of been planning on forever. It kind of felt like it was over, even though like, kind of like Derek, where mm-hmm. even though she's like, oh no, we're going to take a break. I really want to see how things are going with you when you get home and I haven't committed to anything. I was still just like, dude, I'm this dweeby, soft, pale, 
coming off a two-year mission, going to be weird. We have to rekindle everything that we have yeah. ever known. Our whole relationship was in high school. Mm-hmm. It's been two years. Mm-hmm. And you're with this dude that's about to graduate college. I knew the guy. Um, he had already I, graduated. I had, yeah, I had already graduated. So I, I knew who this guy was. And I was like, he's awesome. P- people have only ever said great things about this guy. Uh, he, I know that he's, yeah, graduated, probably has a career <laughs> or something. Money, maybe. Probably had a car. Had a All car. the things that I didn't have. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I was like, oh, dang. Yeah. So um, what was it like seeing Lo for the first time? Mm. Um, that was actually awesome. Mm-hmm. Even though I was really worried about everything, it was kind of like it all went away for a second. And I was like, oh my gosh. That's how I feel. There she is. Well, she talks about that moment in the last podcast and says when she walked through the door that she thought she was going to marry you right in that moment. So the whole reunion was just nothing but good, which is Mm -hmm. awesome to look back on. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't feel awkward. It felt just like we picked up right where we left off. Yeah. Yeah. And I wish I could have just trusted that feeling more moving forward. Yeah. Yeah, but what was the worst part of this whole roller coaster for you? Um, all, yes, all of it. All, all of it. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> um, the, it got really bad when because I I came back and I knew that there would be this back and forth thing, and so I was kind of bracing for that. I didn't know how that it was going to go on for so long. I thought it might have lasted a couple weeks or something mm-hmm. in my head, my you know naive head. And then, um, so just the fact that it lasted for so many months was really hard. And then towards the end of that, I had a really cool experience where I was like, okay, I think I'm all in because I was about ready to give up. And then after that, it got even harder because I knew I was committed, but she wasn't. Mm -hmm. Was this before or after you, you, she had told you that Rob was the one? This was you, this happened after. Okay. I know for a fact. I think we're going into a deep, dark place of Tanner's brain that he doesn't <laughs> want to yeah. go to. He doesn't oh want to rip this out. <laughs> no memory. I don't so, know. So, <laughs> because the only day that Rob was the one was for a day. Oh, it was just a day. It was oh, a day I forgot. But okay. Rob was the one. And then it after was, that. Yeah. One, that hours, was probably, it was hours. That was, was probably the morning. worst part of the whole thing. Yeah, yeah that was from the worst part. But on it was the worst part. I was absolutely devastated. But there was uh, like some sense of like I can move on with my life. As no, as sad as that sounds, mm, I was. But me. then the I, horse kept the horse kept kicking. Yeah, mm. horse kept kicking. No, th- it happened like this. She said, "Hey, I think that this other guy is it." We cry. Left. We kiss. We cry. We, we cry, kiss. We kiss goodbye. Which cry, makes it even goodbye, harder. Cry, kiss goodbye. Yeah. That's the I most le- heartbreaking. I cry, I cry the whole way home. I get home. My mom's waiting up for me because she knew what was about to happen. I cried to my mommy. <laughs> I went to my mommy and cried. I think that's and sweet. She was she was really sweet about it, really like reassuring and knew that I was how hurt I was and how much I'd love Lauren and mm. woke up the next day, played sad songs all the way to work. I don't holy, You were in your feels. Oh, I'm gonna remember the song. I played it on repeat, cried, got to work. Everybody asked what happened. Almost cry not crying goes in the back room cries again it's like 10 a.m i get a text from lauren saying hey actually i don't think i want that anymore oh (laughs) my gosh i'm like no 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 but like yes like why what is happening (laughs) but my spirits went up and i was like hey i got a fighting chance in my physical therapy apprenticeship what is it called yeah Whatever, so were you more was. sad than happy when I texted you? Sad that you wanted back? Mm-hmm. No, no. It was just, it was like, I was confused. Here we go again. Mm-hmm. I, you just took me for the wildest ride ever because I had mm-hmm. just been the lowest low. And then to wake up and be like, oh, there's still a chance. I was like, what? Like yeah. so confused, but like so stoked. Like it got rekindled a little bit. and then, But like. I still just didn't know it was going to happen because it was back and forth so much. Yeah. So after that, that was the only time I had picked Rob was those hours. Yeah. And then after that, it was when you had your assurance that you knew it was me and that you were just mm-hmm. going to fight with everything. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't ever go back to Rob, but it was still, I couldn't move forward with you. Couldn't move forward. Yeah. I mean, it was things like, I didn't know how to talk about the future at all. 
and I've always been pretty bad at communicating, you know, <laughs> exactly how I feel. And so instead of direct questions, I'd be like, if you were going on a honeymoon, like, where would you want to go? And I was just like, Stop. why does this scream beast and brother? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> if you were to go on a honeymoon, Literally, where yeah. would it be? Well, because I knew. If you I would knew, get married, which time of year? <laughs> she would, I girls. knew she would shut down either way if i asked yeah. straight up yeah no and you're and you're still marriage? thinking like i don't want to push her away yeah so you're trying to ask in like a normal way mm-hmm. yeah. without scaring her yeah i'm just like keeping it light i'm trying to get her to talk because really every time i tried to bring it up it was just kind of shut down yeah it was i'm sorry about that yeah. oh that's okay yeah it just made, it made me kind of be like got a question yeah yeah did i just try to like imagine myself in this position with sarah and john um Mm-hmm. But I don't know if I could have stuck it out. <laughs> I wasn't worth sticking it out. No, no, no. no. No, I would it, have. It, was the- it would have been like the most devastating thing to because me. And it would have caused so much like anxiety every day thinking yeah. about it. Like, yeah. it's gnarly. I mean, obviously, like I would do everything I can to hopefully win you over. But that's just imagining waking up every day and thinking like, oh, like there's two guys and me. I thought that. But I also knew, like, no, she's communicating to me that I, that I'm that guy. Like, she yeah. really loves me. That she wants to, you know, be with me. Yeah. But this on on your guys' end, I mean, she's communicating that to two guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and you knew that. And if yeah. I knew that, that would be insane. Yeah. If I was com- if I was communicating that what? Wait, I was communicating what to both guys? How much you love them? Oh. Mm-hmm. Like that, that I was that I love two guys. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just, yeah, trying to think of myself in that position. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It was bad. It was bad. <laughs> we'll say. I will say. <laughs> it wasn't my finest work. No. Moving on. Okay, so you guys ended up going to a ring shop because Lo had finally, she had a conversation with her sister, Lisa, yeah. decided yeah. it it had gone on too long, made the decision Something like you. clicked in that conversation. Yeah, something clicked yeah. with her. She realized you were the one. And she says, hey, what are you doing? I'm picking you up. You go yeah, to a she ring said, shop. you want to go to lunch? Mm-hmm. And then instead and then you of, followed me there. And then in your car. I, I followed you there. Yeah. And yeah. you guys go to the ring shop. Uh-huh. And at the ring shop, did you think this is it? This is the end of it. She finally made her choice. Like you knew in that moment. Or did you still yeah. in the back of your head think? I, I was pretty convinced. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. 98. Good. Mm-hmm. Oh, awesome. Seven. Mine is shining for two. Yeah, I dr- yeah I drove the whole way home, punching the roof of my car, That's what we screaming. Said. The, yeah, the chest bumps, the, yeah, clap, the like slow, it, clap. The, the slow oh, clap, I, the slow clap in the clap. car. Uh, that was my best slow clap yeah. buildup I've ever done by, by myself. myself. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone people. can just say that we're all happy. It ended up great. Yeah, you. It was yeah. a long road, but it probably made you yeah. so happy when Lo finally did decide that it was you. Yeah. It, it was over mm-hmm. yeah and maybe knowing that on paper maybe the other relationship made more sense at the time because of definitely things and knowing that i still it was my decision to be with you mm-hmm. and then knowing that that was the right choice for me maybe that caused a little reassurance maybe did it <laughs> yeah totally <laughs> did <laughs> Maybe you might say after I say this that that caused a little. Maybe reassurance. say this for verbatim and then <laughs> shake my hand. <laughs> uh, uh, wouldn't you be <laughs> just begging for some reassurance? I know you did great. The situation, you did great. Was, the situation so bad. was bad. If I was in Lauren's shoes, I really don't know what I would have done. Yeah, uh, that's tough. It none of us can really relate to it. Um, well, Sarah, a little bit. Sorry, um, but being in love with two people is not the most common thing it's a great problem to have kind of no yeah yeah no two guys begging for your for your love and the pentagon Mm -hmm. pentagon in high school in high school oh yeah Mm -hmm. that that was Mm -hmm. just a joke Mm -hmm. i mean maybe to them it wasn't a joke but i just (laughs) thought it was funny (laughs) tanner i was i was a little annoyed i was like these guys are goobs dude (laughs) but like why were you annoyed because it was annoying because he loved you (laughs) 
Why were you annoyed? There was, Why were you annoyed fire? that there was a group of five guys called the Pentagon and they just, no, they why made, is that annoying they, to you? There's five guys in my high school. Look, me and Lauren are dating. This is like when we're like, no, wait, no, you, no you were in BYU, Hawaii. We weren't dating. But it started before I left. You think that just started <laughs> okay, after I left? Okay, well, they started maybe like having crushes, but yeah, it didn't full blown so happen a lot until of you guys, were gone. A lot of guys had crushes on you. So as soon as I left, like the, the actual talk came out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm saying there's these five guys that called themselves the Pentagon and they were in love with Lauren, five of them, and they all knew it. I and think, they knew they knew I, their best I, friends. I think Tanner wins yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah. I will yeah, just yeah, say yeah. it. It's weird. I just didn't know how <laughs> passionate weird. you were. No, but I'm not. I just think it's <laughs> okay. It's weird. But we could we could switch the roles. Let's say Oh shoot. It would probably suck for you too. Oh yeah, it would for sure suck. I just, and you're like, this is my man, and there are five one, girls. One of them yeah. did give me permission to marry Lauren though. And I wow, thank you for how that. nice. How That's nice really of nice. that Pentagon man. Yeah, well, I think he was leader of the Pentagon. Ooh, dude. <laughs> leader and, oh, and the said, CEO of said, the Pentagon. You may. You may. He said, wow. You he, may. He gave Tanner permission. We were already engaged at this time. And he leaned in and he said, <clears throat> I just want you to know. Wait, no, no, no. It, he waved down our car. We were yes, driving we were away driving from away. a hangout. He waves it. Hey. He comes over to the window, roll it down. Just want to let you know, man. I approve. <laughs> what did he say? I think he said, you, I approve of you guys. I approve of you guys. I'm yeah. annoyed for you, <laughs> Tanner. <laughs> That's rough. He basically said like in high Thank school, you. <laughs> I thought you were just like the Maybe super Maybe he was jock. really trying to be nice. I Whatever. Think, I think he had genuine. He, he, he was trying to, you know, mend the relationship, I think. By yeah. That. yeah. 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 That's great. I love that. Whatever. So <laughs> that's that. That's Anything it. else you want to say about that? Anything you want to say about <laughs> nothing? I don't have any. How you felt about watching them go yeah. through this, or you, you vice versa? Were you on your mission the whole Wait. section? No, I remember coming home and because yeah, he would write me about all of that yeah. and tell me everything that was going on, and I was just so fired up. Mm. <laughs> I was fired up. Mm-hmm. You were probably <laughs> so mad at me. No. Yes. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Tell the truth. Um. Yeah, I was a little bit like, come on. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. You know who's better. I'd be mad at As you. a yeah. brother, as a brother. Honestly, just, yeah. I give but, being protective. Yeah, if he wasn't also, mad, he'd be a bad brother. I had known Lauren for a really long time, and me and Lauren were really close. And so I was just like, come on, you know. Like, yeah. You know and I did you, know. Yeah. That was the annoying part. And then coming back from my mission, I guess, yeah, you guys were already kind of solidified. Things were good. Mm-hmm. But I'm glad it worked out. <laughs> it worked out. There you <laughs> go. Here we are. <laughs> Here we all are. It's great. I just wish, yeah, yeah. It's like you you think about it now and you wish you could kind of go back. I wish I could know what I know. And do it differently. And like, yeah, in, in my instance, I wish I could just be like, stop worrying. Yeah. You know? I think that was my biggest issue is just cl- making the decision final yeah. and just closing off something that yeah. I, knew, you did I great, knew I needed to. You did great. Sarah's, Sarah's the you, winner. In you this. did do really no, good. And I, no. yeah. Like you, you just... From the start, you're like, this is what I want, and this is what we're going to do. And I wish I would have just been like, okay. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Here we are. What did, Tanner, what did you think about us, our story, our m- miniature story? Our, it's not miniature, man. It's sick. It's Super it's sick. Not. Yeah, I was fired up. No, my- Tanner thought I was a weird girl that wore fuzzy socks. <clears throat> That's true. Did that ever- Make you not want me to marry your like brother. My, my brother, he deserves somebody who's not going to show so up in fuzzy socks, like fuzzy quality. That she <laughs> squishes into her boots. Yeah, I think it wasn't so that bad that so, they were fuzzy. Was the it was the fact part. that you shoved you them in. You shoved them into I have a memory boots. of my, my parents' entryway of you just shoving those boots Did on. that seal the deal for that? You guys were like, I'm not sure if... Yeah, this no. is up to par for else dairy. Is great. Yeah, I'm going to say up that to par was my for dairy. favorite part about her. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It was my, so funny. No, I was of like course, going was through funny. the <laughs> tail end, the the final stretch le- leg yeah. of our relationship, <laughs> and I feel like I had, I don't know, I was so worried about it that honestly, as sucky as it sounds, I I didn't really was like in my own world of mm-hmm. like, I don't know what the freak I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work out, but all my energy is going into that. And mm-hmm. then I stay up till 3 a.m. I go to bed, I wake up at five mm-hmm. for school and I don't have and time work. to think about anything mm-hmm. else. 
And then Derek meets this girl. And for one, I'm shocked, like everybody else. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Literally, in the best way possible. I was starting to get worried when everyone was like, we didn't think Derek would ever date yeah, anyone. I, I was like, what's the red flag? Somebody clue me in on this. Not to, it, was a green, it was the greenest flag though. It was. Because he, because he had never shown interest in it. And then all of a sudden he was the most interested. Right. Yeah. So that's a no, green that's, flag. Yeah. We were like, wow, go, go, go. I mean, maybe you were like, Dude, I don't that's know. why I was so passionate when you told me that you were going to stop dating Sarah. I, I I remember that night so yeah. well. Too, just being like, I was so fuming because I I had seen how happy you were yeah. and how in love with Sarah yeah. you were already, dude. Because you just like changed. This is why yeah. we all like Sarah coming into the family was pretty seamless because Derek was sad. Yeah, was sad. here's Derek. I think sad. I think any new thing probably would have pulled you out of the depths. No. I don't think but so. But I think no. But I think there's a level of like he got so down that it's yeah. like. But no, it, that's, but no. that's, that's one way to look know. at it, which is wrong. Okay, but all right. If it, I think it was the the time, place, person, it was the whole setting. It was exactly what it was what supposed it was to, be. to be. And you, whether it would have been somebody else or not, it was you. Yeah. You know, and they it were, like brought Derek out, and we all saw this light in Derek, and we're like, yes, go. Mm-hmm. I was hanging out actually with quite a few girls that were just like really good friends. They were awesome girls, and. Um, I think there were a few moments where like we kind of started to show interest in each other, but I, it wasn't even close to the impact that you had on me when we met. It was, it was weird. And it was like all I could think about. And that had never really happened. I kind of always just was like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll date this girl, hang out with this girl, but it's not that big of a deal. But this all of a sudden became my whole life and identity and I didn't want anything else. It was the only thing that just got me so fired up. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. For life. Yeah. yeah. You guys are sweet. Let's but, move on. I know. I'm I, sorry, I just don't want you to ever think that. We never, that, like, ever, Tanner and I never, <laughs> ever thought that you weren't for Derek. We never had a oh, discussion yeah. like, Derek should not be with Sarah. It was always, they're so good together. I just love that they're together. And it was always very positive. Oh. Yeah. Now we're here, all four of us. Yeah. All right. Here we are. Sweet. We opened up a Q&A on our Instagram. A Q&A worms for the, box. For yeah. the Beastie well. Brothers. Yikes. Why'd you do that? I think it's more worms for like us. Yeah, it's honestly. Because uh, you guys are the ones that are going to be talking. Let's go. Okay. Hit me. Let's go. Rabbit We're at fire. your mercy. I'm ready. First question. What happened to the Beast and Brothers channel? <laughs> oh, ouch. Okay, that was like one of the coolest things we ever did, but we only made one video. So. Honestly, people ask about that all the time. <clears throat> I'm going to go first. Brothers channel exists. You can find it. <laughs> Tanner and I had a really big fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we were going into that, man. I don't want to talk about Please that. know that this That's is sarcasm. Really- Please. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't oh. start that around. Yeah, sarcasm. Sorry. People already think enough. Drama's <laughs> yeah, happening sorry. with the four of us. <laughs> I only speak in sarcasm mostly. Yeah. Continue. Uh, no, I was going to let you answer this one because I'm actually genuinely curious. Okay, uh, we had the idea, said let's film a video, film the video, posted it the next day or whenever it got filmed, and then... Um, that was it. Life got busy. <laughs> life <laughs> got life real got busy. Ain't, ain't that the moral of the story? Yeah. And so we are just really busy with our own like separate family things that there's not a ton of time for it, but there is, and we Honestly, will. There's potential. You should pick that up. I it's thought fun. that was a I think, fun thing. I think because it doesn't take a lot of effort. It's just like, hey, we're hanging out. Let's film a video. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of low key, but it's fun. It, I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that like, obviously everything that we're doing in our families is filmed. You know, we're filming mm. YouTube videos. We're filming TikToks. We're filming Instagram stories and all of this stuff. And so then I think we can both agree that it was kind of a little bit of a fresh air when we would hang mm. out and mm. not film. Yeah. And I think he can attest to that even more than me. Yeah. Um, why? The one. <laughs> yeah. Why, no, why would I attest to that more? Because Derek yeah. loves filming. No, I, th- I, I genuinely think it's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a lot of fun with it. I love filming with our family and I love the idea of filming with Tanner, but I also do know that, yeah, we were you want slammed your alone yeah. and 
I think we just had so much going on. It, it was right before we all decided that we're to moving move. here to Utah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we do that. And then we go on all these trips. <laughs> and then you trips. guys had a baby. And then we have a baby. And then all of a sudden we're oh, here yeah. in Utah. It's a year later. How is that baby? Yeah, she's great. Good, <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah, that she's for cute. Sunny or Jack? That was that's sunny. sunny. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, but no, I do think that it's a really fun idea. And I love hanging out with him. And I think if we can, yeah. you know. Maybe if you ever pick up fixing cars, you guys can start a car channel. That'd be sick. That would be cool. Okay, what has been your best memory and your worst memory as brothers okay one time this is like one that we talk about all the time but uh i got staples in my head because um i was taking a nap on the tramp and Derek and his dumb friends came over and wanted to play basketball <laughs> they shot the basketball the bat the the hoop was over the tramp and i was like i'm gonna swat the ball so i jumped up basketball hoop to my head <laughs> blood gushing everywhere that same day after I got the staples, 11 of them in my head, Derek got mad at me in the car and punched me in the staples. Oh, that is honestly <laughs> terrible. I don't know if it was so the same bad. day, but every time you better. tell this story, it, it the digs deeper into that me. It was intentional to the staples. Yeah. To the, like, <laughs> like, you could have punched him anywhere staples, else. Dude, who hit somebody Fun. in the head, dude? <laughs> In the open like wound, the top of the in the head, staple. not my face, <laughs> like this. Boom! Dude, I can't remember why. On so purpose. Mad. We were probably just looking at each other. Yeah, like no. Tanner I was probably that, giving you a little. Yeah, mm, I, I little probably eyes. started it. Oh, no, he's probably laughing. I think Derek might mm-hmm. have started that, and then he still ended up punching you in the head. <laughs> Maybe that's Possibly. what I think. Yeah. 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 What's another? And then, one? Another and then you guys one? didn't they kick you oh. out of the car and you guys oh, had yeah. to walk home? Yeah, no, we didn't or have to walk home. We just had to there. sit in like opposite corners of a parking lot for yeah. an hour. Honestly, yeah. justifiable, but I can't believe you punched him in the head. I don't know why. I in did the that. stitches. I I got really heated really fast. Oh gosh. <laughs> What's your worst memory? <laughs> um, no, that one that one obviously was was bad, but it was, was worse for Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a time where we were going up a ski lift. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was the first time I ever swore out loud. Oh, and it was at Tanner. I called him wow. the B word so Why? loud. The B word? Wait, dude, I don't remember this, dude. And I actually just remember the did. other day. I don't know what like brought it up. <laughs> you were just kind of mad at me. I, <laughs> mad. I can't remember exactly what was happening, but it was like me, you, and your buddy Alec or something. Yeah. Um, going up a ski lift and you guys were making fun of me for something. I can't even remember. Classic older <laughs> brother, dude. So mad. I did that too much. And no, I just remember thinking like, dude, I want to like push you off of this. <laughs> I was so pissed off. Okay. So moral of the story, don't, don't tease or make fun of Derek. He will, ski punch lift. In the staples. He will throw you off a ski lift and punch you, you in the ski lift <laughs> at the <laughs> steepest part of the mountain and punch you in the staple. While he yells, <laughs> yeah, no. And then I remember just like getting off of the ski lift. And as I got off, I was like, you're a bitch. Oh. And that was the first this time I really ever stuck with him. Yeah. But dude, I, I made you mad a lot though. Yeah. Cause I kind of liked it. Yeah. Because he you would, would get so fired up. I remember laugh. just being like, yeah, like that's so funny. It was just him laughing. But you were actually mad. I was really mad. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I regret that, man. That's right. <laughs> a lot of tough times. Um, so, yeah. And what's Derek, your best memory? I would just like oh, to throw out memory. there that Derek is not a violent mm. person. <laughs> no, this is just like kids wrestling, two brothers. Yeah. 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 There's a couple of kids. Yeah. Just a yeah. couple of kids punching in open wounds. I just did have a little bit of anger issues. <laughs> <laughs> you were a different person back then. <laughs> Can't judge you for what you did when you were nine. <laughs> I just, you know what? I did have a little bit of anger <laughs> in me. 15, <laughs> I saw the rage in you. <laughs> I saw you just flexing all the time. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was wild. Flexing, but it was the funny. veins popping. It was always like fun to watch. Yeah, no, it was a good time. Uh, okay, best, best memory, memory. Best memory. Hundreds and hundreds of these, but the first one that came to my mind is for my bachelor party. Me and Derek drove uh, by ourselves to California to go surfing. Yeah, and it was like our first time kind of bonding over surfing. Cause you had like kind of gone with your friends, yeah. and we'd gone together a little bit, or like in Hawaii. I yeah, I don't remember. But it, I feel like it was like our first like little surf trip yeah. that we ever did, the start of many. And I remember just thinking like, dude, I'm with my freaking dog. Like this is my bro for life. We're on a surf trip. It was just like the vibes. We were drinking like some new flavor of monster. And I remember like, I remember. Really, yeah, I read the monster label. You know how they like write how great it is and they make up that little story. I was like, dude, this is getting me fired up. <laughs> dude. Good marketing. Uh, yeah. So yeah. And, uh, and then we drove home and I fell asleep and the car was overheating until you turned the heat on yeah. and I woke up in like 120 degrees yeah, I saw <laughs> I read somewhere one time that if you like turn on the heat more, when it overheats. that might be a thing. I don't know. I think you definitely turn off the AC, but yeah. I cranked up the heat That's too. Funny. I know it, a little too <laughs> it was far. like going through death Valley, 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 120 Valley. Degrees. degrees. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, uh, that was a good one. My, I agreed. I mm-hmm. also 
we'll never forget that trip. That was kind of like the that first was time. That was your first alone. That was like our first trip. trip ever, or honestly, our first time since like high school, early high school, hanging out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, high school. Yeah. I don't even remember a time where Tanner and I like hung out. Because no, we had like fully different friend yeah. groups. And I never was in high school. Tanner, I was in ninth grade. He was a senior, and mm-hmm. our ninth grade was separate. Yeah, didn't go to high school, and so I never like hung out with him other than like play catch in the backyard or something. Yeah. yeah. So this was our first time just hanging mm-hmm. and it was sick. Yeah. Um, my favorite memory, also a surf trip. And it was 2020. It was right before COVID. We were surfing in Mexico mm. and uh, yeah. we had some friends that were meeting us out there. And I oh, yeah. don't know if I've ever had like a happier moment with him where it was like, we were in the water and it was just us two. And all of a sudden the waves became perfect. Oh, we were just like high-fiving dude. each other. Screaming. Dude, that one trumps. That yeah. was it. That I was like, like a movie scene. It was a movie scene. It was like a wave was coming. And I was like, yes, Tanner. <laughs> it was yeah! just us two. It was just us, right? It was That's just me and so sunset, cute. the most Sounds beautiful amazing. sunset. And then I remember just like tripping like, dude, I got to film this one. I got to film it. And I like couldn't get the camera out in time. Misses then, the waves, <laughs> films it. It was just so cool because like normally when you're surfing, there's always a crowd and yeah. it's so mm-hmm. hard to get the conditions right. But it That's was just us two and the sun was setting and I was like, this is so cool. That was epic. So yeah. That honestly is a good moment. That sounds fun. Yeah. It was. It was, was. a good moment. It was fun. And I know there were a lot of <laughs> moments too, like when we were young, I just like can't remember them yeah it was a long time ago it's hard to remember (laughs) yeah okay so this next question says how many kids do the boys want versus the girls i want four probably Um, that's changed since last week yeah i'm I'm kind of like what did you say last he said two oh two last week he said we're done doubled (laughs) he doubled whoa i just think like no, I know we're gonna. I, I know we're gonna have four, and I know I'm gonna be happy with four. But we're like, I say two when we're in going the through the it. hard parts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I but know, I, I, feel I genuinely think four would be great. Three or four, like I'd be happy with three too. I agree, three or four. Uh, yeah, three. Yeah, I think it's kind of. I feel like maybe there's just one more. I am really content with just the girls. What's funny is when we first got married, you were so set on four. Yeah, because that's what my family. Had. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, that's all I know. <laughs> this is how families are. <laughs> Four kids. This Four is the kids. structure. Two boys, two girls. Two, gr- <laughs> two girls, two boys. And that's go to church on to Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I know. That's all I know. Oh, baby. my gosh. Yeah. So. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Oh. We need some juicy. Do you have a juicy one? Let me see. I don't know if I like the have word. Have you guys juicy. taken a DNA test yet? <laughs> have we taken a DNA test? <laughs> turns was, out that was the we're turns not related. Out we actually aren't brothers. So this whole time we <laughs> oh, thought we were. You're adopted. You're adopted, one of you. Oh. There's no dads. possible way. Yeah. I just know that in my my soul, soul and my bones. Okay. That they no are way. related. Um, let's see. This one says, have you ever thought she is too crazy? Who? <laughs> She's too crazy? Too crazy. Like, that, have you ever thought that... Your wife was too crazy. Too crazy. I'll too define crazy. crazy. Like, That's so all it like, says. So, like yesterday I was out on the deck with the girls and Lauren was in here by herself head banging. Like I pretty, think they mean kind of, more like in a negative my way. My neck is still sore from that. Yeah. I regret. She was going hard. I yeah. thought. Or maybe it's not in a negative way. Maybe it's a goofy way. Yeah. Take it how That's a fun, that's how a fun you, way to take it how think you, about it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then yes. She's, she gets a little wild. You think <laughs> yeah. I'm too crazy. So you think I'm too crazy. Uh, in that aspect, I've never thought that you were too crazy. You've always been um, you didn't know really me smart. Back in the old but days. But I will say, just no, no. I, and that's what, there, when Sarah and I first got married, um, she was a wild driver. Um, oh, yeah. You got your license taken. She got her license suspended. She had a lot <laughs> hey of Hey guys, I just tickets. got out of court. Can we not talk about this? She's yeah, been in like she eight got wrecks. out of court for tinted windows I, on her I, vehicle. I, that was actually one of the first impressions. She's wild. Because I remember you driving fast. I don't saying drive. that you didn't have no. You, you didn't have a license. You guys both kind of drive fast. I, you I blame fast, my family. Huh? That's what I knew. That's what I knew. That's what I was and taught. And that on upbringing. I know. I, how that I'm goes. a very safe driver, but I like to sometimes drive fast. Yeah, mm. I think me being the way that I am has kind of offset you a little bit to be like. More chill. More chill. Like, I got to bring him back. But I remember when, when we were dating, too, or maybe it was when we were first married, we went and did cliff jumping, and it was like a 60-foot cliff. Mm. And all the guys jumped off of it. None of the girls did. And then all, Sarah, all of a sudden, Sarah goes up there and is just like, 
I'm jumping. I was like, who are you? Mix like, Henderson. <laughs> Miss Crowley. Yeah, Miss Crowley. And she <laughs> sends it off of this cliff. I was like, oh, she is wild. No. Oh. But I think. Well, we had kids. I got some to live for now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I live for you too, but that sounded so. I got some to live for. No, it does change. No, it, it, changes. it changes, changes you. You want to be more responsible, I guess. Kids I and a know. couple broken knees will really change Yeah. You. Yeah. Um, so your answer was just in short. Yes, I'm crazy. <laughs> You're the craziest person. <laughs> I is Lauren, just, you are yes. one of the most wild human beings in that, I know. In that sense of the word, we're going. Yeah, you're the craziest person that I know. Yes. This is how yes. Tanner answered that. Yes. yes. And then Dirk goes, "Well, no, no, no. I think it, yours doesn't need an explanation. It's just yes. You're wild. Okay. And that speaks for itself. It really does. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. Do you want me to say you're not really that crazy? You're kind of mellow. No, I think you should say what's real. <laughs> okay um so mine is was there a moment you knew that we were the one for that i was the one for you and sarah was the one for you second we started dating you knew she was the one yeah yeah that's intense nice. no i i think so i think it was like two weeks after probably yeah maybe two weeks after we started dating um and then Obviously, like just feeling this way for a girl that I've never felt before mm. um, and just being so excited to see her, like insanely excited. And I think that that was just telling enough for me, like, dude, you are a much happier person when you're under. And then I think it was maybe a month into us dating and Sarah, which was wild. We we're like down in our basement and she, I think she talked about this, but she was just like, I had this weird like epiphany vision of us getting married and I remember her telling me that and I think it, at that time obviously super early but I remember just thinking okay yeah, there's not a doubt in my mind yeah we're gonna get married like I know so yeah I'm glad that didn't scare you away no no <laughs> that's like really what it I was probably validated it validated feelings. me so much yeah no I really no that was huge that yeah. was awesome Tanner <laughs> we had a longer road yeah but longer road when when do you feel like I you knew I was the one um, I knew in high school with you. Yeah. Then you yeah. forgot. You then forgot. forgot <laughs> along the way. No, but I'm serious. In high school, I really did. I'm I remember thinking, I'm, I'm going to marry you. I'm just messing. I know. And I remember you saying that. Yeah. And that was always in my head. Um, I, th I thought, uh, well, my most, my most, most for sure moment was... When I wasn't with you, when I had that like lady tell me to not give up on you, mm -hmm. <laughs> which sounds, you already talked about that. No, yeah. you can, well, it's a, it's uh yeah, short version. I was like so confused, ready to give up. And then I prayed to know if I should give up. And when I looked up some random person that I'd never seen before was walking toward me, tapped me on the shoulder and said, don't give up. Mm -hmm. I thought oh. that's it. An angel. <laughs> wow. Answer. Yeah. <laughs> I got, yeah, and, and Lauren never got, like, a sure, sure answer like that. It was kind of, like, up to her to just make a decision, and I was like, well, I found out some angel lady came and told me, so. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it, yeah, it was so cool, and that was a, a time when I was like, okay, this is for sure, um, but also the first time that I saw you after being in California for two years was, like, there she is. Mm. Yeah, like, that's my girl, mm. so. Booyah. Yeah. Booyah. Okay, this one says, from your guys' point of view, what is the honest, hardest thing about marriage? <laughs> I almost answered too fast. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah. <gasps> I'm just going to let Derek go first. Oh, I got to really, blinking. really think about this one. Is that battery. the battery? Yeah. It, it was, that was full, a full though. battery. Oh, shoot. Um, I can plug it in. Pause. So apparently Tanner has some beef with me. I don't have any beef. <sighs> Give it to me. What's the beef? No, What's the no beef, beef, dog? There's no beef, man. No, I uh, thought that outfit looked really cool today. <laughs> thought you've been doing such a great job on this podcast. But he doesn't remember throwing a shoe. Oh, yeah. Sarah came on this podcast says, Tanner got all pissed off and threw a shoe 
And then when I asked did. him, and then when I said hi, he said, "Where's the keys?" No, I, <laughs> listen. I, I correct. No, I correct. Listen, listen, Sarah, my turn. You got okay, your. Fine, you got fine. your turn. I'm gonna tell myself my side. You after. already told your side. <laughs> it's my turn. You had a whole episode on your side. Now it's my turn to go. And you said I threw a shoe. Maybe I did or did not. You did. Your brother remembers. He was there. Ah, yeah. Whether it, I don't it think it hit the car. It didn't hit the car. Okay. You threw it far. So I threw it a shoe out of car. anger. Big whoop. <laughs> Big whoop. <laughs> and then you said, this is what where, I you said, hi, I'm Sarah. And I said, where's the keys? You oh, mother freaking. Say. And that's what I you said. I didn't say, where's the keys? Everybody who's watched this podcast has seen it already. I don't have to say anything. No, I'm just Here's playing. the thing. I Tanner, think I, I definitely th- remember throwing a shoe, but. You didn't have to tell him, dude. Now I look mean. Yeah. Let me let me tell. You definitely made him look pretty mean. Tanner is not a mean person. <laughs> he doesn't have a mean bone in his body. Let me just. I can when I get shoes. If I get a shoe in my hand, though. <laughs> yeah, he, he beware of the shoe, though. No, nah, we got in a lot of fights when no, you're engaged. I understand. Yeah. It was not the time to just meet and talk. And <sighs> you did say I said hi. You said hi, oh, and good. then you looked at Derek and you said. Can I have the keys? Okay. That makes me feel better. <laughs> I didn't, you didn't say, can I have the keys? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the keys. Okay. No, it was just a, it He's was a, it was also a high stress moment. Yeah. And honestly, one of my favorite memories watching Tanner chug a shoe. That's sick actually. Yeah, yeah. you're right. That was cool. That was I'm a just good bonding moment. Reframe yeah. that in my brain. Yeah. Cool. Cool. It was like you bonded in that moment. <laughs> we bonded. I was like, I got to work hard to get this guy to like me. Yeah. Or yeah. he's going to throw a shoe at my head. Yeah. And you've done <laughs> and great. And my I husband's going to punch me in my stitches. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even thrown Watch one out. shoe at you since no, we met. I don't he think. hasn't yeah. thrown a shoe. All right, cool. Yeah. I'm good. You good? We're good. All right. Sick. Dude, we agree. Beef settled. Wow. That was a That's lot awesome. easier than I thought. I was about to get my gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> they had beef and now it's gone. The beef's yeah. gone. It's beef and it's now cheese. If beef there is cheese. a boxing what? match between anybody in this f- group of four, I almost said four. Uh, it's going to be a boxing match between me and Sarah. Yeah. You think? Yeah, I think if anyone's going to throw on gloves. The ones that go head like to head. We do go head to head, but I feel like it's because we care. Oh. Test. Yeah. That's maybe, tr- maybe very that's true. that's not why. No, that's I very no, true. I From my perspective, true. I think we both care. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think and we both, both have, have similar your opinions. Opinion. Well, lots of times different opinions, but. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that you guys are, are similar in a lot of ways. You guys are very similar. So maybe we fight similar. Um, And I think. That a lot of times, Tanner likes to give uh, insightful information. Um, uh, solicited. <laughs> yeah, maybe sometimes, unsolicited sometimes. Sometimes, but unsolicited. No, sometimes, sometimes it's solicited. A lot of the times, uh, you know, I have something, or I think it helps for you to hear it from someone else. And so I think that's why sometimes he'll come in and give that <laughs> insightful information. <laughs> because I you don't want to hear it from me, maybe. And then, Wait, well, Derek, why aren't you doing about? that for me? Why aren't you stepping in for me? Yeah, at what's Warren? our problem? Yell at her. <laughs> <laughs> Should I do that? We don't yell, yell at each other. Throw a shoe at her <laughs> now. Tanner and I don't yell no, at each don't. other. No, they, they don't. don't. I just think that you no. guys, you guys yeah. talk through things. Yeah. Like if me and you have a little argument or something, it's like he knows. He that can you be just the the midpoint, but sometimes you don't give the right facts. So then I have to retrack what Tanner is saying, and then it gets sticky. And mm-hmm. then sometimes we're like, rawr, rawr. Yeah, and then yeah. at just the like, end, and then like I'm that. in the front trying to make a beat. And then Lauren and Derek are like back there twiddling their thumbs, <laughs> not knowing what to do. And then Tanner and I end up liking each other again. It's, yeah. No, it is awesome. They're like siblings. I think the sickest thing about our relationship is that we can be pretty freaking open with each other. Yeah. Like mm. I don't think there's anything that none of us know about each other. Yeah. Is. You know what's also funny about our little arguments is... <laughs> Which people are going to think now we just argue. <laughs> no, it's not but like our, that. our, our, um, conversations, yeah, we call yeah. them conversations. Yeah. They're never about me and Tanner's relationship. Really? Oh, it's no. usually about something else. Yeah. It's not like, a s- point of oh, view Sarah, of you've wronged else. me. Yeah. This is yeah. Tanner's no, favorite never- thing to do. He does it to me. Yes. Yeah. He gives, he loves to give people's a, people a different perspective to look at. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes Which I it, appreciate. It, it I can think that's feel a good thing to in do. some moments you can it can feel like he's not on your side, but it's just him trying to share more perspective so you're not as sad or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And well, that's, that's what awesome. he does to me. It is great. So I know it. Yeah. I actually think it's I grew it's up a good, in a family a that talks how me and Tanner talk sometimes. So I think it's actually a good thing. Yeah. Cool. And I feel comfortable talking to him like that. 
You guys should get into a little bit right now. You should go into a little bit. And then what I'm going to fight start, about. I'm going to start doing yeah, something. Happen naturally. We, we really don't fight that much. I'm no. scared people are going to think no, that we fight. No, you guys don't fight. fight. I think that no. you guys get into no, no. word battles. I don't know. Word battles. Mm, I wouldn't even say that. I would just say. And it's only happened. We're talking like two, three times in our yeah. eight years of knowing each other. Yeah. No. Right? Yeah. Hannah, yeah. what do you want to say? I feel like you're wanting no, to nothing. say something. This is how it starts. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this, is like, this is how it starts. Sir, no, Tanner, you want to say something? No. Because I can tell he's I, wanting to say something. The only times I really get, like, I'm, I'm talking passionately to Sarah, is, like, when she said, like, usually you're kind of in a bad spot or some bad things are happening and, and I'm doing that thing where I'm like trying to reframe how you think about it, but it comes off very like you're, th you're thinking about it wrong or it's like, it, it, it's just like me explaining, you could think about it this way and you explaining, or I could think about it this way. Mm -hmm. And we have both of our sides of thinking about a certain thing that's going on. Mm -hmm. It's never like, dude, I got beef with Sarah, dude. She did this to me. She did this. She's yeah, so annoying Yeah, I don't think I've ever once been like, well, maybe like once. Maybe like once. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome I, though. No, I do I, think that you guys are really good at resolving certain things going on by talking it out. I think that usually by the end of it, you're like, okay, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's good. Tanner never talks about it after, so no, I don't either. He no. feels good about cool. it. It's never unsettled. Great, settled. Oh, people are gonna think what they <laughs> want to think about this. <laughs> I would, I would Tanner consider, and Sarah hate each other. I would consider <laughs> shocking news. Shocking Tanner news headlines. Sarah hate each other. Oh, In laws who oh, hate man, each other? Man. Question mark. Here we go. That's the T. I can, I truly, not to get sappy, consider Tanner one of my best friends. My brother Sick. Wow. is like Hands very in. close. Hands in. Hands in. Team Beeston. I feel no ill will towards Tanner at all. Yeah. The feelings are mutual. I still want to fight him. Yeah, okay. we're going to fight every day of my life. <laughs> every day of my life, I just want to freaking beat him. There's one that, like, I don't know if I should ask, but Derek was like, maybe, yeah. I don't even remember what that was. You read it, and you're like, <laughs> okay. But I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm trying to read their phones. It <laughs> says, now that we've talked about me and Tanner arguing, it says, oh, yeah. to the brothers, do you, <laughs> this is so bad, uh, do you wish you would have married the other sister now knowing their personalities better? Can you imagine if Can they sat here and said, and yeah, like, yeah, I, I, and we're I just kind of hesitate. The, like the four of us. Like, <laughs> no, no, I never thought that. <laughs> He's like sweating. <laughs> Beats of sweat. Beats in the light. <laughs> no, I've never thought that. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, can you read the question again? I'm sorry. <laughs> Derek's shocked. Derek's really watching his answer right he now. Said, I am. <laughs> he said, what Choose did you say? Choose your words wisely. <laughs> Do you ever think you could marry your other sister? Yeah, now knowing their personalities better. No, do you wish Wait, you would have? No, the question was, do you wish you would have? Do you have? wish you would yes. have? Oh, yeah. Very different. Yeah. Yes. Do you think yeah. you could? Do That's you different. wish you would have married the other sister now knowing their personalities better? No. There we go. Simple no. as that. No. Are you guys offended? No. No. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if we want to open up that can. Cool. Yeah, keep it closed. Do you compare yourselves? I don't know if we want to open up that can. <laughs> Let's do it. Do, <laughs> brothers. Do, do a shortened version of do you compare do you yourselves? Compare yourself? No, never. <laughs> no, I would never I do never that. I never compare myself to Tanner. Never. Dude, I, no, no. In fact, nice. I think so little of Tanner that I'm like in a completely different room. I'm in a, a league of my own. I'm in a league of my own and I'm just honestly feel bad for him. Wait a second. Did you guys ever answer the question, what is the hardest part about marriage? We, let's let, let's let forever. him finish this, yeah. and then we'll read it. I question. just realized that. Part about me. Oh yeah, I asked that's that when forever ago. Mm -hmm. um, that yeah, I compare that. myself a lot. That's but, a good short answer. Yeah, it's a good short answer. I think a lot oh, yeah. of people compare themselves a lot, but uh, it's hard not to when we are so similar in a lot of ways. Yeah, we like do all the same stuff. Yeah, and so I think it's natural. Um, I do think that I've done a lot better lately at not comparing myself to him. Um, but I do, yeah, over the last few years, I definitely have compared myself a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Tanner? Yeah, I think it's impossible not to. Yeah. Uh, I don't have, I don't generally have, 
posture? Oh posture. no, I was just hugging oh, you. Is our posture oh. good? I was actually just hugging you. I'm okay. I'm really not good posture. You right now, the couch is not good for posture. No, my lower back hurts so bad. Yeah. Right now. We, all, I like, know. I saw myself in the camera and I'm looking like this. Back dude. And I was like, so much better. <laughs> I was like, dang it, dude. I think I've been like this the whole podcast. That's Honestly. what I thought about myself. All right. <clears throat> Do, yeah, impossible not to compare it. We do everything exactly the same. I see him, like I already mentioned earlier, he does everything better. All my hobbies, he does better than me. So there's this like, dang, I wish I was that good. We do the same job. He's really good at this job. I'm not as good at this job. I'm like, wish I could see, turn I that say, on. I would there's, say the exact opposite. That's really funny. But um, I think we do the same thing to each other, and we both just have like this skewed perception that we think, I don't know that we need to, but uh, honestly... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we actually had a big talk about this uh, a little while ago. And yeah. And it was really helpful because yeah. I thought a lot of things. And that just weren't true. thought Tanner didn't think the same things. And then he said, no, I think these same things. And I was like, yeah. wow. And it, it was really helpful. Um, yeah. 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 So comparing happens a time or two. It happens to the best of us. Yeah. It happens to the best of us. Well, we're going to circle back to a question that somehow slipped under the rug. That's so Slipping weird. My fingers all yeah. What the even time? happened? I think a camera died. Yeah, I think was a camera it? died. Oh, okay. Dang. Oh, I thought you meant right now. This was asking, asking the boys from their point of view the honest, hardest thing about marriage. Yeah, I have nothing to say. Do you have anything? No. Dang. It's really easy. <laughs> Hard? <laughs> Did they say <laughs> what's like the best part about marriage? <laughs> What's like the least easiest? We have thick skin over here. Just <laughs> I don't know. It hurts. So. <laughs> no, okay, this is my this is my genuine answer. The hardest part about marriage is uh, living together twenty four seven with a person that just doesn't have the same brain as you, uh, and that that means um, the way that you think or you, the way you communicate is different than the way that they do it. The way they feel love could be different than the way that you feel love. Because you're just different individuals and human beings. And that's with every relationship ever. And so I guess this applies to everything. But like just learning how to communicate in a way that is received well by your partner and them doing the same thing uh, like could fix every problem in every relationship ever if you can nail that one thing, which is the hardest thing to me. That was a good answer. That's a really good answer. Crap. Derek? Gosh, dang it. Which therapy helps? Therapy and I, I wasn't it's against, changed our lives. I wasn't against therapy. Um, I was like, "That's a good idea, not for me." <laughs> not for me, though. <laughs> Tur- turns I'm out, I, turns out, <laughs> this guy needed a lot. Spit Whoa. everywhere. It's okay. Turns out, this guy needed a lot of it, and it's been really helpful because you get this. Uh, you learn to do you, the communicating thing. Mm-hmm. You're like, you recognize patterns that you get stuck into, and it's changed our world. Dude, it's insane. Um, the whole marriage thing, like. Especially, I mean, it obviously is a little different if you decide to to wait to live together before getting married um, or once you get married. But as soon as you start living with someone in general and you're their partner and you're together, um, whether it's you're married or not, and you've committed to each other, it is hard. Like any roommate that you've ever had, it's like you get bugged at stuff. Um, You're in each other's space 24-7, like he was saying, and... I think the hardest thing for me has been differences Mm. and learning to accept differences. Um, And a lot of people have always asked, like, is it good to have differences in a marriage? Should you all, should you be like the same? Should you just be interested in all the same things? And Sarah and I have a lot of differences. Like the things that spark my interest are very different than the things that spark her interest for the most part. And the hardest part for me has been being willing to get to her level on those things Mm -hmm. or even the things that she would want to do. Sarah is a super clean, tidy person and I struggle with that. Like I always have. Um, Did you just touch my leg? Yeah, an accident. Sorry. Hey, none of that. Yeah, sorry. Not while I'm talking. (laughs) This conversation is just making me me feel it. (laughs) Um, And I think just being willing to realize like she's a different person person you're with is is different and they see things different and obviously communication is huge but being willing to to get to their level and you know do the things that they're interested in or show that you care about those things that you're interested in um it's hard you know you you grew up a certain way and she grew up a certain way we were completely we were raised really different actually i think and it's tough to 
and now having kids too, to be like, okay, how are we going to raise our kids? I was grown, I was raised a, diff- a certain way. Mm-hmm. She's different. And, um, just learning to compromise is tough. Cause you don't want to like compromise on everything, you know, mm-hmm. but I think it is good to be willing to sacrifice and compromise to a certain level, you know, mm-hmm. and, and be able to sacrifice for each other. That's huge in marriage. Mm-hmm. And I yeah. think anytime I do sacrifice something for Sarah, I do feel better about it and it mm-hmm. makes her marriage better. But that is hard. I think for me, it always comes down to communication. Definitely. It's freaking I think hard. Did how you, know? you receive um, criticism too, mm-hmm. or not even criticism, just their point of view, how you receive that is huge. Mm-hmm. Intentions behind things yeah. that are communicated. And on top, on, along with the, the therapy thing, like you you start living with someone, no one teaches you how to do this stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to just know. Like all of a sudden, yeah. and, and especially in the culture we grew up in, it's like you get married and go off and, and, and live life. Mm-hmm. And I kind of thought like, oh, we're going to get married and we're going to just figure it out. And we're, you know, seven years into our marriage and still it feels like I have this much figured out. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> dude, that's, a, that's like a whole half inch more than me. dude. <laughs> it's just insane. It's like, how are you? No one I think it's just like, it's a live. constant learning thing. And I think the other hardest thing about marriage is you have to constantly put in effort mm-hmm. to make it better. It's not just going to be good. You have to sacrifice. You have to put in work, always be trying a little yeah. bit better. You have to be trying if you're not trying. And that's, hard to do when your life is busy and you have kids and yeah this age of kids is hard to do that mm-hmm. but and to take time for worst. each other i don't think <laughs> that, to take time for each yeah. other it's hard to get that one-on-one time to connect i don't want to scare anyone away though from, no because from it is because like it is the sickest thing in the world yeah um i think just like anything it's it's tough we're just talking about the we're real. just talking about the hardest the real yeah. this is the hardest part about marriage yeah, yeah. there's so many yeah, amazing the, the pros parts always will outweigh yeah. the cause of marriage of course so. yeah there was a lot of, and this should make you guys feel good. There was a lot of questions about you guys being very athletic and f- really into fitness. Um, like, <laughs> like fitness wh- tips. Like why we are like, no, just asking tips on how to get oh. more in shape oh, and be more athletic. Maybe, maybe get more vo- motivated. Yeah. Maybe wow. how to become more active and. Yeah. You just like, you get it, you buy pre-workout, you get addicted to pre-workout. <laughs> and then if you take the pre-workout, which will make you feel good. You can't just sit around, so you go to the gym. See, that's honestly the key. I started taking pre workout, and you have to go. <laughs> you have to go. Just pre workout. <laughs> I think a that's habit. Substance. I think a mindset and a habit. Don't you think? Yeah. No. I it's think just you're a little of, more qualified to give advice on this one. Are I, we actually doing this question? I, I don't know. I just was seeing that a lot, you're, and you're I just, just wanted you flatter. to know that that that's was nice. a good question for them. Thanks. But okay, what about yeah. a good one? What is your favorite thing about me and Sarah? That's what, a good question. What's my favorite thing about you? <laughs> well yes they're wondering about each i don't know it just says <laughs> what is it says what is your favorite thing about lo and sarah so i don't know I'm assuming that that's tanner's favorite thing about sarah and my favorite thing about you i think it could be we're all friends yeah trying to double up on compliments you know what i'm okay, gonna say never my mind. favorite thing just about do you it. okay actually yeah go in you can be the life of any party that's really nice legit like you can make anything fun so that's it's one the of the best s- compliment. That's one of the sickest things ever. It is. Thank you. That's really nice. Yeah. All right. Really nice. Tanner. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> the list goes on. That's kind of mine, <laughs> but in in this way, um, Lauren's Lauren's uh, has this power to make everybody in the room at their peak self somehow like everybody's just like feeling good laughing at whatever she's doing oh you're giving mine yeah oh so you both are giving me and then they're both and giving we can you. skip me okay i don't <laughs> like compliments <laughs> no honestly i'm don't really bad we really can. For sure. no we really <laughs> okay i have good ones but yeah, yeah yeah okay sorry keep going that, yeah that was the first thing that came to my mind too is that like yeah in a group setting uh it's it's just like i'm so stoked to be attached to you because you're the one getting everybody stoked and that's not something that you teach that's just in inside of you <laughs> to it's, be able it's and, and it's like body. yeah it's like one of the coolest superpowers ever to like get into a room and then all of a sudden vibes are high because that person's in the room that's nice thank you that's true thanks a lot last question no no oh, no we're doing so that now we can't skip Sarita. Sarah hates this 
I, I actually more than really my Sarah birthdays. hates when people sing happy birthday to her. I hate this more than my birthday. <laughs> Sarah, do you love if, yourself? If we were to start. I love myself. I just don't want other people to love me. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was a total joke. Anyway, no, I, I just don't want compliments. Let's I don't know give how you to a accept compliments. Them. Just a couple. I don't know how to accept them either. You just say thank you. Thank you. you just say thank you. Just practice right here, right hey, now. Here I it comes. Thank you. Here it comes from Derry. Ready? I mean this with all sincerity and all my heart. Sarah is the most caring and considerate human being I have ever met. Oh. She cares about things more than I like. Like think I could ever be capable caring about something it's it's really cool and it, mm-hmm. it mostly not just about like random things i'm talking about people she really cares about people and is super considerate and of, animals and animals and animals i will say she I really think on the worries last about <laughs> people's feelings and wants to make people happy and uh is just a a bright little she's a bright light she's a bright light that's that's a good way to put it. What do you Amen. say? Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> nice. That you did it. You so accepted sweet. it. That's all you yeah. It really is so sweet. Moving on. Nope. nope. Tanner. <laughs> well, I'll go. I have I have one that came very quickly. Oh. I didn't have to think about hard. Um, Sarah is uh, one of like, I don't know the exact right word to say. I'm going to go don't with. Don't use the word demeanor. Demeanor. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, she's one. She's like a really intelligent person, like very smart and like, knows how to figure things out and understands things really well. And that's always something that stuck out to me mm-hmm. that you like, you're really smart. Amen. <laughs> you might be the next Roman empire. Remember how we you had that might. talk on the last podcast? Someone, Someone said you're number three. I was Enneagram. a type three that was all and about it was smart and, and smart. I don't know, but Sarah is I didn't graduate college. You don't that have to. Matter that doesn't matter. Oh, I could go on for an hour about mm-hmm. that topic right there. Hey, yo, that's and why I Sarah. Hate that you always say I didn't graduate college and that I'm not smart. I never said I wasn't smart. I said I didn't graduate. We have a problem with our TV. Sarah will fix it. <laughs> Sarah's Bob the Builder, too. She builds everything. Yeah, she builds likes everything. to build stuff. She has her own power drill thing. She does. She bought a pink power it's drill. pink. <laughs> yep. Thanks, Tanner. It's supposed to be Thank green. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be green. No, I was repping low. Mm. This one, this is the last one, which I guess this is kind of like, but it says, what's their favorite memory one-on-one with their brother's wife? Hmm. One on one, yeah. So like Derek, like a memory that stuck out of you guys together. Mm. That's like fun. Obviously, the one that we've already talked about. What? You, literally telling me to not. Oh stop. yeah. And I Sarah. told you go freaking date. I mean her. that one's yeah given. I like that. that. That was huge. It's a hard question. Uh, I have a couple. Are we still recording? <laughs> yeah, we're going. <laughs> I have a couple. Um, one of them actually. Uh, it could be also the worst memory that we have together, maybe. Um, but may- maybe uh, could be. I don't know if I should say this one. <laughs> what? I'm scared. The what way that I saying? the way that I think about it uh, is kind of positive, but there was like a negative aspect to it. So was this? I- this is uh, this is and this is the story about how I made Sarah cry. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And that but happened I, once. But it, in my mind, there's this like really cool <laughs> um, part about it that I, I thought was like kind of breakthrough in our relationship. Maybe, maybe not. Um, Sarah was getting bombarded about something. Uh, when you live your life on social media, somebody always has something to say. And somebody has something to say. And Sarah was really sad about it. And I felt I just felt like this overwhelming like need to like help her understand that what these people were saying was not true because I thought she was so great. And the way I did it wasn't very tactful. Um, but I, but I would got kind of the word passionate maybe where I was like, I was like, Sarah, these people know nothing about you. Like you're great. Don't listen to them. And I was just like, kind of like, boom, boom. Like, because I was like, I, I felt this like want to let her know that. And it led to tears. Um, cause it was a high stress situation. <laughs> Uh, and I, to the point where now? like I no, went, I, no, <laughs> no. I'm not. it's just, it, it's so funny to remember this. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I remember I had to like, y- y- she left and went to the room and then I, I came in a little bit later, gave her a hug. I, I just felt bad that it had led to that, but it was cool to me because I, because of why I wanted to help her so much. And I was like, like, I, because you're it a It came person. out of a very good place. Yeah. I think I was just fragile. 
at, yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Baby, I'm fragile. <laughs> I'll admit, I was a little fragile. <laughs> yeah. I would have cried too. No, Tanner situation. was just delivering it passionately, and I was on the brink, and he was really being nice. Looking back, it just... Delivery was... Always working on that delivery. <laughs> it just, <laughs> they say delivery is key. No, but it wasn't like, it, and it, but it wasn't like I was mad. It, I didn't feel like yeah. he was ever being mean to me. It was just like, maybe I was thinking, yeah, he's right. But <laughs> I oh. felt like it was, a, um, yeah, just a passionate delivery and it was never mean at all. And it had really good intentions. And then we made up and said, we we're sorry. And it was a yeah, awesome. good memory. Honestly, somehow, somehow funny, somehow. funny to laugh at now. I'm like, yeah. dang, I was sensitive. No, <laughs> no, it was, it was a real, situation. it was a real thing. Yeah, yeah. it was, no, was very real. I remember that. But it shows that Tanner really cared about you and yeah. you. you know. Yeah. And normally I think it was weird for me because normally I'm pretty good at handling the hate. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was like a weird, fragile moment. Yeah. Gonna mm -hmm. use the word fragile again, but mm -hmm. it, it was. Couple memories too for Lauren. Um, First one is a little more light, but we... You never made her cry? I don't think I ever you made sure? her cry. He told me to shut up once. Yeah, he did <laughs> tell her to shut up. <laughs> did I really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is one of oh. my favorite memories of all time. <laughs> shut up. I don't say that. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, boy. I have yeah. two two people Jeez. with me. Wait, what? It's I, okay. Wait, I can't. You were remember. frustrated and you couldn't figure out a puzzle. Oh, frick! <laughs> yeah. You're a little frag. You're in a fragile he was state. Fragile. I said you can do it. You said shut up. <laughs> we're both, both both of our things are trying to help them, and we're like not receiving it well. We're just. No, okay. Lauren, you can do it. Shut up, Lauren. All right. I it was, was a high to... stress situation of Derek trying <laughs> it was to figure a riddle. out a Everyone riddle. Everyone figured out the riddle yeah, for whatever reason. Nobody's figured out the riddle. And I yeah. thought that Lauren was kind of like, Derek, you can do it. Kind of like. You thought it was. He thought it had like a schneedy tone to it, but it didn't. But it didn't. But... And I felt so bad. I remember now. Shut up, Lauren. It's okay. Shut up, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even said that, dude. I remember looking at Jack Bingeter and he was like. <laughs> like something in his chair. <laughs> oh shoot! That, oh that was bad. shoot! No, so that's no, your favorite. Sorry, funny. sorry. Tell the good memories. Me and Sarah the light hearted. Good laugh. Um, light hearted. Well, the first one. Um, th this one is uh, kind of accumulation of memories, but we used to play Super Smash mm. all <laughs> the time with Tanner and Lauren. Like it was like daily ritual. Mm -hmm. Like we played Super Smash every night. What, every night. Um, and. Looking back on it now, it's become one of my favorite memories of being with Lauren is we got so competitive. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren and I are both very competitive. Uh, and she always used Bowser and I always used Ike and Super Smash Bros. If you don't play, then you can skip this part. But this is really important for me. Um, and we, I just knew that she was going for me. And I was always going for her to like, because it was four people and it was everyone from themselves. And me and Lauren always went for each other. Mm -hmm. and we were pretty like silent about it. I would just see Derek said. <laughs> and I remember, I don't know, in those moments, I remember just being like, gosh, I got to beat her. Like she always beats me with Bowser. Um, but I remember having some of like the hardest laugh attacks ever playing Super Smash. And you guys would get actually mad to mm -hmm. the point where we would have to leave. <laughs> Your house because Derek and Lauren are just in this <laughs> awkward, weird tension. That happened. It happened, and then it would, they they'd see beef. each other. It's so funny because we would see each other the next day. <laughs> Nothing happened until the next time we played Super Smash. It is one of my favorite memories, though. Just like every night, Tom, knowing that I was you guys gearing would up actually be people. mad. <laughs> like you ether me. No, Derek time. is. I will say, Derek is the most annoying person to play Super Smash against. Yeah. Okay. I, flat out. Yeah. Moving on from that, uh, a mm, real memory with Lauren. And again, Sarah was there, but it was a lot of talking between me and Lauren. Is when Sarah gave birth, mm. um, which was like one of the coolest things ever. Having Lauren there, um, just this last time with Sunny, Lauren actually cut the cord. I cut the cord. Yeah. I almost passed out and Lauren cut the cord. So Lauren that cut the cord. My umbilical dude. cord. To Sunny. I, yeah. Dude, you didn't have to say that, dude. I know. I didn't. I didn't. But you just threw yourself under the bus. Yeah. It oh, was actually messing. crazy, though. But there were so many moments um, when Sarah was giving birth where Lauren and I would just kind of like 
where we were just talking and talking about how Sarah was doing. And it was just really cool to, to see her helping Sarah in that whole situation. Um, because yeah, that's kind of a, that's a huge moment in life. Mm -hmm. And there are so many stresses going on when you're about to deliver, to deliver a baby and Lauren constantly kept making Sarah laugh. And we had so many laugh attacks. It was so fun. We were just being fun and funny. That, that birth experience. <laughs> No, it was it that was, birth experience was nothing. I, was I had so a first traumatizing birth laughs. experience with Jack, and this experience was like a complete one eighty flip. Where that's awesome. We were it just was so fun. Tanner wasn't there. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> that, and sounds, <laughs> that sounds Tanner, really awesome. That sounds really. Cool. I just, just hear like, Tanner chime in. Wow, <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe more than anything, it was just kind of admirable. Like there were a lot of times where I felt, I don't know, I felt really queasy and, and sick during the whole thing and I don't know what was going and on Lauren was my but Lauren would kind of talk me through things yeah. and would talk Sarah through things and it was really cool to have her there and I'll yeah remember that for a long time Aww. so that's cool that's I'm glad that's that was really a good nice. experience boom no. do you want to share your second one with Sarah another one tell me it's not one where we're getting two. in an argument and you're making me cry oh tell me we've had good times Tanner you need to show no, we have time. I'm just trying to think of one-on-one -on -one times one time, Sarah needed a ride from somewhere, from your parents' house or something. So it was like a three-minute drive or something. Um, <laughs> but in that in that drive, um, Sarah expressed to me that she was worried about Derek a little bit and uh, that he was going through some stuff and let me know. And uh, we had a little chat about it. And it's like the most heart-to-heart -heart we've ever had. True. Um and it it just meant a lot that Sarah came to me as like the first person to help my brother and to help her and uh felt like really yeah like good vibes nice. yeah. good vibe yeah and it yeah. was it was helpful and, and it I just made me know like how much I knew this cared about Derek and I don't think yeah. you did I don't think you did know this yeah huh? yeah Tanner is the person that I go to if Derek is low or yeah and 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 I like the amount, like, I just, like, appreciated that so much. Like, that made me feel like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's special. Yeah. We trust each other. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what it was like. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, their bond. Oh, my gosh. I need to wait. <laughs> <laughs> the brother's bond is real. Yeah, their, their bond Could is, make anyone cry. Is really special. So, sometimes... Tanner helps Derek in ways. Holy shit. It's okay. Sometimes Tanner can get through to Derek in ways that I can't. So that's why that conversation happened. But I'm very grateful for Tanner. Bottom line. <laughs> can someone else talk? <laughs> I'm grateful for you too. Please. Can someone oh. else? Uh, yeah. oh, I'm getting teary watching. No, thinking I about just, that. I think that like. It's really awesome to know that Tanner and Derek have people like that they can be those people for each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When no, when sometimes Lauren and I can't get through to the boys, they have each other. Mm -hmm. And vice versa. Totally. Yeah. It is the coolest thing. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> made her cry again. Just, just <laughs> damn it, Tanner. The, the <laughs> inhale. You sent me to hell. <laughs> Again. That's not in me. <laughs> Sorry. Tanner and I have a lot of good lighthearted moments too. I think we're just yeah, it's, not, it's either fighting or crying. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, should um, we? Yeah. If you just want to take a good end to this, do you want me to wrap it up? Or wrap it up. <laughs> Last scene. Is just. Oh. oh man, that was making me really happy though. That is like yeah. one of the coolest things to know that okay, your wife. Well, let's wrap it up on brother. this one. Yeah, how do you boys feel about Sarah and Lo being so close? Was it a shock? Do you like that they're so close? Oh, oh yeah, it's the coolest thing ever. Yeah, Aww. and and so <laughs> rare, I think. Talking. And so mm -hmm. like, uh, yeah, it's like anytime we are together, having doing brother stuff. Yeah, we know that you guys have each other, or a lot of times you're hanging out with each other, and it's like. Uh, I know you're taking care of each other and that you're so close and like the, how rare that is for the sister-in-laws. Yeah. It allows me and Derek to be as close as we are. I think it brought all of us together after. Do you think you did it? No, not me, but I'm saying like, be, 
being in the stage of life of married and then yeah. coming together, I think it's what brought us all yeah. together yeah. is being close friends. And then, yeah, agreed. I yeah. Don't know. And I think Lo like, and I had to bond just as much as Derek and Tanner had to bond mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah. for this to work out. And yeah. when things are tough or whatever, you know, you guys are usually the first person that you'll go to mm -hmm. about that stuff. And that's also very rare. Yeah. Um, I think that that's like such a unique thing and it's super nice to have in your life as someone, I mean, a lot of people have their, you know, their best friend, but when it's your, your sister as well, that's super cool. Mm -hmm. So family yeah, for it's, life. It's, it's very, it's very lucky. Yeah. yeah. That's a good note to end on. Should we not end on who's the favorite brother of the parents? Oh parents man. Parents favorite brother. <laughs> Lauren's got more up her sleeve. On, bring it back. <laughs> Bring it back in. Let's hear some fighting. Wait, that says who, who is our favorite? was the parent's favorite brother? Yeah, that that's, is there a favorite? That's easy. Oh, well, there's. I don't think so. Who's the favorite? No, I, I mean, I there's know. like favorite, and there, there was, was a fan favorite. A lot more attention. There was a fan favorite, and there was a favorite. But I did get attention for two years before you were born. Remember that, yeah, you little did brother? Get, you did. I was alive for two more years, <laughs> just were, hanging out with mom and dad, born, getting to know them. You made them parents. Congrats. Yeah. yeah. Congrats. They'll never forget Good that. Good for you. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. But man, did I get a lot of attention. You got a lot more attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, it's because Derek yeah. was a, he gets a lot of attention in our family too <laughs> <laughs> he's a he, Derek had all the little issues as a kid no. and Derek fell off a cliff and Derek was always getting hurt so yeah. naturally it was easy to give a lot of attention and uh yeah I think yeah but I don't think they like I you do more not, than me. I don't think. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really, know truly that. don't think they have a favorite. I think they like their no, children. I, I, I feel like it's actually. No, Rissy's the favorite. Rissy. Yeah. I was going to say our sisters. sisters. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're three and four battling for three and four. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, You're not even close to neck. first place yeah. in this. Yeah. <laughs> but we, yeah, I think we pass each other, but no. Yeah. There's two people that'll take one and two. That's okay. And then last question. Sorry. If one of you move back to Hawaii, will the other one follow? Yeah. Perfect. All right. <laughs> that was the quickest question that was been, has been answered. Same time. Okay, perfect. Um, well, thank you guys so much for joining us on our podcast. Thanks for coming us? on. Yeah, I'm talking to oh, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Do we ever get to come can back? Can we come back? So we'll decide <laughs> once we release if you this. Don't make me cry. You can come back. <laughs> Stop making Sarah cry. Stop can, making I me can't, cry. Can't, if you make I my wife cry one more Dude, time. I can't promise. I just. Fight, fight, fight. And uh, I think it was quite enjoyable. Oh my gosh, you're wearing pink and green. You're not, Derek. I think this is a good. <laughs> this is a good time for you to just slide on out of the frame. I'm out. There's a color theme. Derek's like <laughs> moron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, well, it's super fun to have you guys on. Thanks. And uh, let us know fun. if you guys like our husbands or not. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, let us know. Let us know if you just like them. <laughs> They just actually take over Fairly Odd Brothers. We just go I think, out of existence. I think we need to have them host a podcast in the future, but just we'll see. They have to behave. They have to behave. You can do it by yourself? Oh, we'll get nowhere. <laughs> no, we'll get, get stuck we'll on get Tesla. Everywhere. We'll get everywhere. We'll get everywhere. You'll get stuck on Tesla you times. You want to learn studio. about cars? Oh, yeah. We'll yeah. have them on. Okay, sick. Cars. <laughs> Sports. Sports and cars. Tanner's, what is Tanner going to contribute? I, I, I'm a good listener. Yeah, he'll listen. Dude, he'll just listen to me. Go he'll just on for listen hours to Derek talk about, about cars, Tesla. Me? Okay, well, thank you guys for joining in for this podcast. It was a doozy. It was a doozy and a boozy. Yeah, <laughs> doozy boozy, <laughs> if you will. That was and awesome. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks that for coming out. Fun. Thanks for having us. Like we'll we're not just going to hang out after and eat some food. <laughs> where where we'll are we going guys. to dinner though? Is we'll, a real question. We're going to go to Solagave to celebrate. <gasps> are so, we actually? I don't know. I just said that. Anyway, thank you guys for listening to this podcast. It was so fun. You. That was awesome. And don't we'll forget to tune in next time. Don't forget to tune in next time. And wherever you're listening to this, you might not recognize one of us. <gasps> oh my. I forgot this is the next episode. Yeah. Oh the God. next episode of Big Change is a. Is maybe a, is on maybe the, shore. the big change will come with changing my emotions as well. Wow. Lost emotions. Oh. Yeah. Change the, you're this be a could be, different person. I'm this excited. could wow. be a different scenario. like having a guest on your own podcast. Yeah, we're going to have to reintroduce me. <laughs> so next podcast is going to be big. It's a big change for one of us. Well, all right. We'll see you <laughs> we'll next see time. We'll see you next time. Bye. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.